Hello everyone, my name is Tiger the Psycho, and welcome back to Splatoon. Today I'm going to be looking, taking a quick look at these, or we're going to take a quick look at these new weapons that came out called the Neos, the Neo, um, Splash-O-Matic. It's not in function very different from its counterpart, the Splash-O-Matic. Is it what it's called? The Splash-O-Matic? Yeah. It's got a good quick fire rate. It can cover a lot of turf, but only in a single form. So I'm kind of waiting for the sploosh o -Max Neo version, because that covers a lot more ground. But, um, anyways, this one comes with burst bombs, and an ink zooka. Oh, I can't use it yet. My bad. Gotta love this being Zookas. But, um, let me take a look at the original Neo, or not the Neo, but the um, Splash Omatic. It comes with suction cup bombs in Bomb Rush. So, yeah, it's kinda like, it's one of those weapons you can use, but you don't really wanna use. Now, here's one of the biggest overhaul updated weapons the Elixir something something something. E-liter 3K scope, and this is what it originally was. Oh, we know that's the custom version. Appears I've already bought it. So the first they gave it a custom version, and then they said, you know, that's not enough. Let's really break this game. So they created this version. Now allow me to reset the map because you see that target from way down there. Yeah. I can hit it from this far away. But that's not all. You can get even further away. Let me just back up a little. A little more. Alright, there we go. That's where I can't hit it, and this is where I can hit it. Let me just show you how far away this is. We're standing from here. And this is where it is. It's a pretty impressive weapon, but its downfalls are that it does come with burst bombs, which I guess they don't consume too much ink, and the echo locator, so you'll know where your enemies are, so I guess that helps with your scope, because, you know, you use the little, the, um, echo locator, and you find out where your enemies are, and then you're like, oh, there they are, bam. My problem with that is that you're using a, um, um, a splatter scope is what I call them, I guess. Or a sniper, the equivalent of a sniper rifle, so it only shoots in one direction. And it's kind of easy to get your meter filled up, but at the same time, it's not easy, so you gotta choose if you really want this weapon or you don't. Because this weapon costs 13 grand to use. So, yeah. Also, I purchased the this little weapon, but today I think we'll be using the Neo Splash Matic. Let's exit, and hopefully it can show up a new map called Camp Triggerfish. As much as I don't want to use this weapon, because believe me, I am loving the Octo Brush. It just seems like everybody's using the Octo Brush. It's not just me. It's like many people are using like things like that. Yeah, camp trigger fish right there. Now, hopefully you can get into the round of a splat zone. I don't know what that looks like, and I'm not guaranteeing perfection because um, it's kind of hard to get. Um, it's kind of hard to know where everything is on camp trigger. Okay, I'm good. I just need to back up without trying to make noise. Okay, so, um, this is Camp Triggerfish, and oh my god, it's a big map. It looks different in regular battle, but Jesus, I love what they did with this map. This is the coolest map I've seen, because you're at, like, a campground, and you're just kind of like, this is kind of cute to me, because you're at a campground, so, you know, this is camp activities, this is what camp's about. Or something, I don't know. Uh, I can't go that way. 
Oh my god, people. Are we seriously? Did my team just seriously let that happen? Oh, hey, there's someone trying to do something. Okay, where is my team and why are they not helping? Whoa, hey, whoa. That was a disruptor. I don't know where the other guy went. Or if he got KO'd by someone. Jesus! You just came around that corner with an ink zooka and I did not see it coming. Okay, I'm looking at my minimap and someone is going some really weird path that I can't tell what they're doing. Um... How did you do that? That's in Oh, there's a path over there. Like I said, I haven't I've only played this map once, and it's a huge map. Like, as you can see, this is one way. This is just one way you can go. And there's like tons of ways of getting around. Unfortunately I don't have much run speed, and I guess that's what you should want to equip. If you plan on going to camp triggerfish, I it sounds like I'm promoting an actual camp. So kids, if you want to go to Camp Triggerfish, you better pack your speed boots and all sorts of stuff because Camp Triggerfish is a big place. I'm joking, I'm joking, of course. Um, but seriously, Camp Triggerfish is a huge map and you better have, like, stuff to get around quickly. Like, you have, there have ink, you better have fast mobility. Oh my god, I, s I saw it and I didn't do anything about it. I really should have. Alright, so I'm going to support my friend who's going around... This Japanese name guy. I think he created a heart and something. Oh, I got him. Nice. Um, apparently, there's overtime in this game, which I did not know about. Oh, yeah, and the range is kind of lacking on this gun, so... If you're going to try this, remember, you have no range at all. Okay, someone's going in. Oh, Jesus. They launched an ink strike and I had to get out of there. Ah, oh, I got... gotten. I know I'm just making sounds and I'm sorry. I'm trying to give good commentary. Oh, um... I just remembered something. So, um, in... on... about next month, or at least next week, Splatoon is expecting an overhaul update. Like... Like, this game already has so much stuff to offer. Well, now they're going to give it an overhaul with 40 new items to equip, like 40 new clothing pieces, headgears, boots, shoes, whatever. They're going to give it an overhaul update. And that's not all. They're apparently adding two new weapon types, which I can't remember the official name of one of them, but one of them is called... Well, I can't remember the name of either of them, but they're basically going to be a minigun or a gatling gun. And a paint bucket, which I thought was hilarious. A paint bucket is going to be one of your weapons, so you're just like throwing ink everywhere. Instead of like, just like, instead of doing this, you're basically going to be like, shooting ink everywhere. Did I really survive that? There was no reason I should survive that. I'm gonna be honest, there's no reason I should have survived that. I don't know why I did that, but I just felt like I should have. I cannot. I do not have the capacity or the ability to throw anything effective. Alright, so if they go into overtime, they can win this. Which hopefully we won't, and if they do, then this is gonna be complete malarkey. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. This is overtime right now, so they're gonna. Why did I do that? And how do you have so many slap bombs? So basically, they have to get under our score, or else they win, or else we lose. And this is where I call baloney because if they allow this in Splatoon, then what? Why? 
I mean, we've clearly won. Oh, oh, okay, we lose. Because overtime. Yeah, that's fair. Come on, Nintendo. Balance this out. This is not exactly fair. And mind you, this is ranked battles. I can, I guess I can see where they go with the overtime thing, but we were clearly in the lead, and we lost just because of overtime. It's why I don't play online ranked battles much. I, anyways, I hope you like to see you. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna end it off on that note. Um, I want to talk about the update. Um, the update that they're planning is gonna be an overhaul update where they're going to basically give Splatoon 40 new equipment items, two new weapons. I know I'm sad for being myself, but um, these new items are gonna be a minigun and a paint bucket. In my opinion, I think that's gonna be funny to see if people running around with a paint bucket and splashing ink out of it. My problem with it is that everybody's probably just gonna go with a minigun or stick with a Kraken roller. I mean, do, be honest, how many of you are using Kraken rollers in your game? Go ahead, I know that there's someone out there who's using the Kraken roller. And if you say you're not, then you're probably lying, because you probably used it once and abused it till you got something you thought was better. And I can understand that. I mean, I'm honestly using the Octobrush, not because of the Kraken feature, but the, um... The, um, for the reason of... Because I love the Octobrush, and of course I'm lagging. Oh! Look at that, communications here. Oh well. Well, I guess I don't get to talk about it. But now I'm gonna kinda of go into a little rant, because I'm gonna join this round again. Um... I'm sick of seeing people who just use the Kraken roller because it gives them the crack on. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that's fantastic. I guess this will be the rest of my video. Um, not only is it because they use the crack on roller, but it's because there's sometimes where moments where someone will drop out of the match right before it starts, so you're left with a team of three while the enemy team has a team of four. And do you get a communication error? No. You just drop out and that's it. You're stuck on a team of three against a team of four, and sometimes it's a team of two against a team of four. I mean, really, is that fair? And, and there won't be a communication error that says, oh, um, you're missing teammates, maybe we should drop you out of this match. No, it's like, okay, good luck. I'm just, sometimes that gets me, and I think they should fix that. Um, I, apparently they listened, and they got, they fixed the level cap. Because now Inklings won't only go up to level 20, they'll be able to go up to level 50. And I thought, wow, level 50, holy crap, that's gonna, that's gonna suck in the future. <laughs> I mean, I really like the level cap update, but I think level 50 might have been a jump. Because there's already so many players who are level 20, now they're gonna jump into level 50. What if a new player comes in and there's... Everybody's already like level 50, so that poor new player is just like, oh yeah, you you just joined the game. Too bad, have fun. I can see level 50s. It's gonna take you forever to get to their level because you're probably gonna lose to them. Or hey, maybe you'll join a team with them. You know, I I just personally think they can they need to think about their actions before performing their actions. You know what I mean? Anyways, I'm sorry to waste your time. I hope this was informative. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. My name is Tycho the Psycho, and I will see you, see you all next time. Say Psycho, everyone.